Okay, this is Jeff. Uh, I need a, a word from the gurus to see if I'm trekking right or trekking wrong here. So, finally got a few spare hours to to uh, put into this rocket stove. So, uh, made a few cuts here, kind of tacked a couple things together, and uh, just kind of wanted to get the word of uh, if I'm heading right or heading wrong here. So. Um, as you can see what I got here, I went ahead and cut, uh, cut a good portion of the tank off. There's the top, which is going to be the bottom. Then it obviously fit together like that when all welded up, uh, once the, the uh, feed tube and the stack is put in there. Um, I've got, once this... Once it's uh, kind of welded together, obviously, inside, I'll have a good two and a half, three inches gap from the top of the stack to the to the top of the stove. So, um, what I got, I wanted to ask a question, see if anybody out there has used this stuff before. Um, this is a header wrap, and... Uh, I don't know if you can see in here. It might be too dark. One of these little motorcycles I built here. Um, I built a set of really short header pipes. Um, not uh, they're not um, baffled or anything. They're just kind of straight pipes. And these things got like super hot, and uh, was taking some skin off the back of my leg when I rode with shorts on, which I'm not supposed to do. But still, even with jeans, it gets pretty hot. So. Um, I found this stuff online. Um, I get it out of Tennessee, I think Murfordsburg or something like that. Anyway, you can go on eBay and get it. Um, this is a little bit out of the norm for your regular header wrap. This this stuff is called titanium. Um, it is uh, good for like 2,500 degrees, and it's it's not fiberglass. It is it has crushed up like lava rock or pumice rock. Uh, threaded into it, and unlike regular header wrap, if anybody's messed with it, you know you got to soak it in water, and uh, it, it's just a mess to deal with. It, you get fibers stuck all in you and everything. This stuff here is um, you just wrap it and go. And like I said, it's good for like 2,500 degrees or more probably. I put a blowtorch on it and couldn't even uh, didn't even mar it. So, anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap this pipe um, maybe do maybe two layers uh, all the way around it you know up to wherever the burn chamber is going to end up I left this cut a little bit long I didn't really know where my two feed tubes are going to come down one for the wood and one for the pellets um, so I kind of left this long I can cut it off kind of wherever so anyways I'm thinking about wrapping that with this and then doing the regular traditional fiberglass insulation over this uh, and just, you know, bound, bound it with some stainless steel wire and just kind of wrap it, you know, all the way around. So, but this is what I have so far. Um, and just want to see, you know, if I'm going to go in the right direction here or not. I'm going to, this bottom piece here, uh, I'm going to, just plug this up. I thought about making like an ash clean out, you know, on the bottom of this, but uh, I'm gonna actually put a like put this thing on a pedestal. Uh, it's gonna have the round pipe. I'm gonna fit right over top of this, just weld around it. Come down, oh, maybe uh, ten inches, maybe, and then have a steel base. I found a uh, <laughs> was that the. Um, thrift store yesterday just kind of knocking around found this big solid steel plate I have no clue what it's for but uh, it's got a couple little l-shaped pieces I'm gonna knock them off but anyways I'm gonna have a piece of pipe between there and there make a nice little like a pedestal style base on it this thing's like I mean it's solid steel it's it's pretty heavy so, anyways I'm gonna um, that's kind of what I'm planning to do. So I'm going to just do the traditional clean out. I'll just cut a 
a hole here on the side wherever the wherever the um, the exhaust or you know stack or chimney whatever you want to call it, it's going to come out the side. I'm just going to make a little door here on the side where I could um, you know service it basically. Uh, if I got a vacuum hash out of the bottom of it or whatever, so what I'll do, I'll just uh, plug this, plug that up and weld it up, put a just a threaded plug in it, whatever. Uh, but before I went too far, I just want to get everybody's feedback, just to kind of make sure I'm heading in the right direction with this thing. Um, on the top, I know I've seen a lot of people cutting these, uh, cutting this ring off right here. Um, just kind of, you know, knocking the, the little welds off all the way around. Uh, I think I'm going to leave this on. And that piece right there that I cut off basically the middle of the of the propane tank, I'm going to just split it in half, flat, flatten it out, and then, you know, trim it, obviously, to, to fit around here and just make a flat spot. Sounds like I got an email. <laughs> Um, and just make, you know, sort of like a double layer, uh, but have it flat, you know, in case you had, you know, emergency, have to cook on it, whatever. Uh, so, but that's kind of where I'm at. And, uh, I got kind of sidetracked a few days. I, I, I did end up using these clothesline poles, uh, that I mentioned in the first video. So when I cut them down... I left a little bit stubbed up and ended up making a fire pit where the where the one was sticking up at. So that kind of got me sidetracked for a few days. Um, got to guess do what you got to do. I don't know. I had an old Jeep rim, big wide Jeep rim, uh, been floating around in the garage forever. And I thought, man, that'd be cool to put down in there and just weld to leave that piece of pipe stubbed up and weld that to it. Threw some lava rock in it and. Uh, Menards had these pavers for uh, 10 cents a piece. Um, I've got 250 of them. Uh, so I basically have about, with the lava rock and everything, I got about 30 bucks in this thing. Uh, so uh, yeah, it turned out pretty nice. Uh, better than just, you know, just a big blank spot in the yard. So. As you'll you'll find out I'm kind of a little on the OCD side. I, I get started on one thing and one project leads to another, and it kind of snowballs for there. I, I think a lot of times I'm my own worst enemy on this stuff. But anyways, uh, just utilizing uh, these old uh, clothesline hangers is snowballed from that, and then kind of back to this and working in between. So. Uh, let me know what you think uh, before I, I I'm just got this stuff obviously tack welded together so uh, I'm going to wait to hear back make sure I'm on the right track before I start welding this stuff up solid and take it from there thanks <laughs>